Hey you guys and gals, this is Alden from the Mosin Crate. First things first, because it's YouTube, I cannot answer any sales related questions. That includes things like how much, where do I buy one, how do I buy one. If I answer anything like that, YouTube will delete the video. However, I can do answer those questions on the same exact video. If you go into rumble.com and search for the Mosin Crate without any spaces between the Mosin or Crate, same username I have here on YouTube, you'll find my channel on there where, again, this video is up where I can and do answer questions like that. So getting right into it, this has been about two months uh, since I've had the last surplus list uh, for review up. These have been in transit for months now, so it's really cool that they're finally here. These are all FN Browning High Powers. So these aren't clones. Now, if you want a cheap high power clone, I'll go ahead and tell you Gearzan, which is a Turkish company, they make one. Um, they're like $500, $600, somewhere in there. Sometimes you can get them as low as like $450. So if you don't really care about, you know, collectability, you don't really care about having an FN Browning one, uh, there are clones out there. It's kind of like 1911s. You can get a World War II 1911A1 and spend over a grand on it, or you can get a brand new Springfield copy for... Uh, you know, three hundred dollars. For this review video, we're going to go through here and just kind of look at all of these. All of these are matte black. All of them are in nine millimeter. This is probably one of the worst ones here. And by worst, I'd still say this is close to very good condition. It's got some finish wear there, but other than that, really not bad shape at all. Some of them, the import marking is going to be on the heel of the receiver, uh, on the frame rather, and some of them are going to have an import marking on the bottom of the trigger guard. These are in super nice shape. Have that typical single action, beautiful high power trigger on them. 13 round magazines. Some of these I would say are close to excellent condition. Others are somewhere around a lower, very good range. Kind of like that one I showed you. I said that was probably the worst one. That one I'd still grade as a low, very good, but really very good to excellent on everything in here. This is the only one that I see that had a wood grip on it for whatever reason. The nice thing about high powers is if you don't like the grips on them, they have original um, original grips. There are a ton of aftermarket grips. So if you don't like the grip on this one, that's a beautiful gun. I'd say it's close to excellent condition, but that grip is in nasty shape. I wouldn't say nasty, but it's, it's probably closer to a good grip, good surplus grip. You know, you can go out there and you can get grips and they start anywhere from $20 and sky's the limit. So you want wood grips, they're out there, you know, 30, 40 bucks. If you want black plastic grips, red plastic grips, whatever you want, they are out there. Just take a screwdriver and swap them out. This is another one. This is probably one of the worst ones here. Again, I'd still say that one's close to, you know, a lower, very good grade.
I did not see any military markings on any of these, but usually when those lanyard loops are added on there, that's like this one here has one on the heel. Uh, that's usually why that's there for military service. And then I also have some really cool high power practicals. I only have about seven of these. Usually I only ever get maybe one or two of these in for review each year. In this case, I have seven. Uh, these are in solid, very good condition, I'd say. And believe it or not, from the factory, the high power practical would come with these Packmeyer grips. So that is the correct grip for these. Uh, there's a couple in there that don't have the Packmeyer grips. But again, you can get Packmeyer grips. If you like the Packmeyer grips, they are out there. Packmeyer still makes. Uh, the high power grips as far as I know. Uh, import marking on these could either be on the heel or the bottom of the trigger guard. And I'm just going to kind of go through the rest of these and show you guys condition of what you can expect. And that's going to do it for this review video, guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button. I'm going to have quite a few more videos coming up over the next couple months. I think the floodgates are about to open again, which is a good thing. And I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.